Hello everyone. Uh, today we will try to solve a differential equation by using MATCAT prime. I will show how to do this. Uh, MATCAT prime will solve the equation symbolically for us. Now let's start. Uh, let's assume that this first question is our problem that we are trying to solve by using MATCAT. And I have an empty MATCAT file like that. Let's start to write the expression. The first term is third degree of derivative of y in terms of x. Now, uh, this is the derivative function of MATCAT prime. You can click on operators, then click on this symbol. Now, in terms of x and this small empty box is 3 because this is third degree y in terms of x plus 3 times. Again, the same thing. x now, this is second degree plus 3 times. Uh, when it is first degree, you don't have to write one. You can write. It will not matter, but if you keep it empty, this is also okay. Why in terms of x? Plus the function itself. Now, here is the important thing. If you have expression on right-hand side, uh, you should switch it to left hand side. You should switch everything to left hand side and equate to zero in order to use MATCAT prime correctly. This is important. If I have an expression on right hand side, I am switching it to left hand side. For example, in here, for a, I have exponential of x on right hand side. Uh, it will be minus e to the power of x. I have minus x, it will be plus x. I have minus one, it will be plus one. Now, this expression is equal to zero. Now, what I will do is clicking control plus C, control and C on my keyboard. And I will write here Laplace in terms of x. Now, this is the solution of my MATCAT. This is the Laplace transform of my expression, which is equal to zero. Now, what I will do is basically copying to all the expression, control C, and past on an empty area, does not matter where it is, control V. Now, whenever I see an expression like Laplace in parentheses something, I will write instead of this, I will write L, the big L. And here another, I am writing L. This will be L, and this will be L. And here I have initial conditions. If question does not give any of the initial conditions, you can assume that they are all equal to zero. But if question will give them, uh, you can write. For example, if question says that initial velocity is one, you can write one. But in here, in our case, initial conditions are zero because question does not give those to us. So I am basically deleting all the expressions, which includes initial conditions, like this term. And these two terms. Yeah, that's all. Now, what I will do is again clicking control and dot, control plus dot on my keyboard and 
now I will write solve the L, solve, solve the L to me. Now, this is the expression for L. Actually, this is the Laplace transform of our function, y in terms of x. Now, what I will do is, again, copying this, pasting on an empty area. And again, I am clicking control and dot and writing in Laplace. This is the inverse Laplace function of Metcat. In Laplace, in terms of S. Now, this is the expression of Y. It is not in terms of X, it is in terms of T and uh, it is not important for us. Let's assume that all of them are x not t it is the same thing now let's check whether our solution is true or not i am copying the solution and writing y x equal to this but there is a problem you should write x in terms of all the t's Now let's check whether our solution is true or not. I am copying my first expression, which should be equal to zero, and write it here. Again, I am clicking Ctrl and dot, and Metcat says that this expression is equal to zero now. So I can understand that my solution is correct. So this is our solution for this case. And uh, thank you for your listening.